So Hardy's on fire. And then we'll get a minor heal at the end of the fight from uh, Chad's trait, so that will help get back some of the HP we just lost. Uh, here lies Vincent Fatiga Picnic Lightning. Nothing. Here lies Norman Leong, a successful banker who gathered all his gold and dove into it like it was a swimming pool. He died of head trauma. <laughs> Uh, did you guys see the family guy where they made fun of Scrooge McDuck? He's like, oh god! Oh, it's not a liquid, it's a bunch of solids on top of each other! Ah! Oh, like, he dove into the money bin and he just broke his arms. Here lies Kenny Rickson, when old age appeared and walked to the woods to let the wolves take him. Here lies Andrew Garrett, a chopper, clamper, and cramper, and drinker. What? find nothing. I'm still waiting for that monster to get mad I'm digging up graves. Uh, we already read these. Reinforced onyx bottle. You dig up a skeleton! Sticks and stone. I saw something the other day on Twitter, and it was like, why is it that we grew up saying sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me? And now it's like, uh, you said something mean on Twitter six years ago, I'm showing this to your boss to get you fired. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get a healing touch off before this ends. Oh, never mind. I hit harder than I thought I would. It's already over. You find a rune-etched stone. It feels warm in your hand. You realize your hand is now trembling. A voice whispers to you, Free me. You have the power to crush the stone and remove the runes around it. What do you do? crush it. You crush the stone in your hand. It crumbles easily as if age has weakened it. Its runes covering it fade and the stone is no longer hot to the touch. A wave of warm feelings rush over you. You sense you've eased the suffering of some being somewhere else though you know not how or why. I wonder if that'll come into play later. Uh, grave bone shards. Dude, this guy's just letting me just dig up the whole graveyard. It's like, no big deal. All right, there's like a dungeon entrance over here. Uh, here lies Min Chung, juggler of fireballs and lover of flammable hair products. <laughs> no skeleton. The plague. Ooh, stun, nice. Flawless victory, thanks to that stun proc. Probably got to work higher in. What's up, MRC? Uh, here lies Ingo Spillinger. His love of nature prevented him from fearing the large animals that live in it. Dig up grave. Mars skeleton! You know, at least it's XP. We're, uh, we're getting these two near level 15, which is supposed to be big. Supposed to be kind of a big deal.
Nice stun. The passive healing that Chad brings at the start and end of each fight, combined with like random stun procs, is really nice for getting the party topped back off. We're full mana, full HP on everything. Somehow Chad is at 140 over 130 mana. Now he's 150 over 130? I don't know how. Was that counting overcharge? It just the dis it displayed it weird. Uh, here lies Ben Pappas. We told him not to sleep under large, unstable boulders, but he didn't listen. Nothing. Uh, already got those. Okay, so there's another dungeon entrance marker here. So that's there's two of them. Open door. Requires a specific key. Okay, let's try the other one we saw. This game looks fun. I think it's worth uh, $30. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I will say I got it on sale, but I've really been enjoying it. This has been one of the most fun games I've played recently. I mean, it's going to depend on your taste, of course, but I, I've really been enjoying it. Uh, Shade Prism. The sarcophagus is closed tightly. There's an opening on the side for key. Words written on the side read, Arjaeus for the glory of the three. I wonder what the shade prism is. It's not listed in here. I wonder if it's a crafting material or if it's like a quest item. Wait, can I read that? Uh, the three lay dead before him. Chaldeus tried to stand, but had to rest on one knee. His wounds were great, and he would not survive them. So he took the three souls while they were still in their bodies and bound them in rune-etched stones with the last dying embers of his power. I just broke one of those. They will never know freedom in the afterworld as long as they remain in here. They must be buried and protected. See that they are never broken for all time. Yes, my lord. Will you do this thing? Yeah, of course, my lord. You will serve me even in death. Will you serve me? It is my honor, my lord. Tell me when you are ready. Are you ready now? Yes. Though it was Byron who entered Chaldeus' inner chamber, it was someone else entirely that left it. Something that merely resembled Byron. It did not breathe. Forgive me, I thought if we just went along and appeased him, he would stop. He would see his own madness, but we didn't say anything, we simply made him hungrier. My only wish now is that when I die, I will see my children again. But I know I do not deserve that. I do not deserve anything. At least this way, my life may mean something. Quote from Argeus, spoken hours before his death. Okay, so I gotta find three runestones, and one we dug up in a grave. I'm wondering if that big guy in the graveyard was the executioner. Okay, I can't seem to engage him in a fight. Jaren. I wasn't really paying attention to what he said before. Dominic. I wonder if these are the names of the, the runestone? Hang on. Uh, notepad. Jaren, Dominic... And... Okay. You got a third one? Argeus. Okay. Isn't he Argeus? Okay, hold on. Where was the, the one where I found something? I think I already dug up all these, didn't I? Phil Holland. Find nothing. Alright, so this one was Dominic. So I got Dominic. So I need to try to find Jaren and Argeus. But any of the ones with dirt, I already dug up. Maybe those are the ones that are ruined. Yeah, that's that's what I was saying. Um, I'm thinking that those might be the ones. Arge oh, I misspelled Argeus. Hang on. Ar Argeus. I 
don't know. Have I found Jaren's grave? The name sounds familiar. I feel like I have. I mean, it might not even be here. It might be in a completely different area, and then we'll have to come back here. I can't open the map here, either. Like, it looks like there's more graves up there, but I think that might just be, like, doodads in the background. I can't go past this fence. It appears. Can't interact with that grave. Hmm. Wait. Is that a door? Ho ho! Uh, here lies Andy Whatrill. Often quite angry, now his rage has subsided. Skeleton. Oh no, Luke. Uh, here lies Randy the nearsighted. May you be able to find your way better in the next world than you did in this one. You dig up a skeleton! Come on, give me that level 15. <laughs> Seventy four crit. And he's doing AOE. Ouch. And small party heal. Ah, getting close. Jaren. Here lies Jaren, absolved of mortality. He watches over us silently. This was the, the first name. You find a runet stone. It feels warm in your hand. You realize your hand is trembling. Free me. Okay, it's the same text. Crush it. Crumbles easily. A wave of warm feelings rushed over you. Okay. As the rain washes the fragments of the stone from your hand, you notice a key in the dirt. Okay. Argeus. That's the third name. Argeus' mausoleum key. All right, so there was a key hole in that place and also the place up there. Um, this one's closer. Let's try this one first. I have a feeling big guy's going to be mad after this. Yeah, I think he was the executioner. Inside, you see the skeleton of who you presume to be, Argeus. Similar to the graves outside, you also find a runette stone. It feels warm in your hand. Free me, blah, 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 blah. Crush. Uh, continue... You hear screaming outside. I think I didn't do his job. You know what, really quickly, let's use an out-of-combat heal just to be completely topped off. Alright, I used a uh, stone skin or iron skin or whatever it's called right before he engaged. The Grave Warden has a lot of hit points. We are going to want creeping death on you. Uh, Alright, first off, taunt. Burst, creeping death. This is my highest single target damage thing my team has. <sighs> Reminds me of uh, a bunch of skills in different games. Uh, Curse of Agony in World of Warcraft being one of the most recent. Man, I was like, wow, 300, that's a lot. Oh, wow, it gets worse. Um. Oh, we got a stun. Nice. Heal over time on her. Just keep stacking conditions on him. We gotta chill. Uh, let's see. 
Just in case there's any shenanigans. Actually, you know, we're about to have the burst bar full again. Uh, shielded assault. You know what? Let's save. Let's save up for Might of Aramis, just because we've never seen it. We're gonna save up to that. Does chill slow his timer? Uh, reduces haste, so I think so. I'm pretty sure it does. Defend the next hit. Arcane Sickness. Alright. This might be the only time I use this, because she's she's built like a tank, not a damage dealer. But let's see what it looks like. <laughs> Yo, she aura aura him. Ah, uh, that was enjoyable. What in the crap? Stunned attack down it. My God, that was a lot of ouch. The heck was that? <sighs> am I still taunting? Yeah, I am still taunting. Oh man, because of the attack down, the shield and heal is going to be weaker. Ah, dang it. Ah, dang it. stealth into an ambush. Uh, do I want to do swift cleanse right now? Let's do Shielded Assault. Honestly, I should have had this up earlier instead of doing the, the Muda Muda thing, but we, I, we really just wanted to see it. Ambush. 446. Worth it. <laughs> no! Not the sticky bag! Oh man, well, I'm glad we had the AoE shield up on the party, because even with that, that really sucked. Alright, we're going to tap into our mana pool here to do Guardian Song. Ow, in advance. Shoot. Dude, the reduce attack power by 50%. His shields are so weak right now. I'm going to do a jab and then let this wear off and then do something on the next turn. And the heals are weaker too because of it.
Alright, that will do most of the remaining damage needed if I can survive long enough. Alright, she's gonna get hit next, so we're going to block as much of it as possible. Oh no! He didn't take a turn. Weird. Okay. Fine. Heal her. Oh, nothing special? What a boring Chimera shot. Block it! Uh, okay, we were defending. She took 212 twice. Would have been worse if we weren't defending. Taunt it. It's weird that she blows a kiss for that skill. I'm gonna have her defend, him heal, and her attack for the remainder. I am- oh, miss. Miss, and then a crit, but because she was defending, the crit was weaker than the hit we would have gotten. Chill. And then the heal I queued. protection. Ah, oh, nothing special. Alright, so she put a shield up. We got that scourge barrier. Oh, the poison might kill him. Oh, he's at 48! Fade strike! Watcher of Graves Sla- Is he gonna blow- Oh my gosh, I thought he was gonna blow up for a second. Hey! Level 15. Wow, that was a lot of XP. She got 16. They are halfway through level 15! Can I fight them again? Alright, we got a lot of stuff here. They got perk points and new skills. She got a bunch of new perks. I clicked too quickly. I didn't see the loot. I'm sad about that. Hold on. What did, it, what did we get? Uh, Heart of Darkness. Can be used to unlock the ivory sarcophagus. Stinking robe. Drew filling flask. No new weapons, no new armor. Nothing too crazy in here. Oh, wait, what? I didn't realize I had unopened treasure chests in here, chat. We got a gun called Diplomacy. Uh, let's see. It looks like he is using the best gun available to him already. Okay. So, let's look at their new skills. What did we get? Guard. Reduces damage on all party members by 22% for one attack. Generates sin overcharge. Oh! So it's like a weaker version of their personal shield, but it hits the whole team. That's kind of cool. Uh, I'll definitely get some use out of that. Um, Calibretto. Innervating Mist. Adds five overcharge to each party member over three turns. So he can be like a battery? Okay. I believe that was a quest if you go back to the lady. All right, I'll try that in a bit. Uh, okay. Uh, perks. They got more perk points. Let's see. That and that I don't really care about. We got five points remaining. Alright, we'll just do that. Uh, okay, gully. I 
I definitely want to keep all that. Okay, that's good. Our Monica got new stuff. Distracting shot two, cleansing bomb will cleanse an additional debuff for each hero. Um, taking it from one cleanse to two. Hey, Muck, what's up, Moose? Uh, crit damage. Increase the damage of critical hits by 23%. Begin battle stealthed. But at the beginning of battle, she'd have no overcharge. So I could do ambush on like turn one, but it would take it would it would pull from the mana if I did that. Let's get more crit chance. All right, cool. Wait, did Monica get a new skill? I don't remember. No, I don't think so. I think she's got the same skills. Okay. Uh, all right. So let's go up here. There was um, a second room up here that I couldn't access earlier. It needed a key. Let's see what's in here now that we've killed the uh, that guy. Open says me. You see a cane with the words WKK Esquire written on it. What do you do? Take it. Mm, Esquire. Is that just a weapon for the wizard guy? No, it's not on the weapon page. Alright, that's actually like a quest item. Uh, the sarcophagus belonged to the deceased demon hunter Edric. The inscription implies he died during one of the purges during Caldeus's time and that Caldeus escaped his justice. Inspect the sarcophagus. Surcoat of Sir Edric. Epic armor. Um, so it looks like the only person in the party that can use it is the Belmont looking guy. Is this Battle Chasers? Yes, it is. Uh, armor of the great Sir Edric Slayer of Demons that has grown musty in the Tomb of Souls Great Power. All right, so I'll I'll give that to the. Um, oh, it won't let me equip him unless he's in the party. Oh, that's weird. Okay. Like he'll show up in cutscenes, but I can't give him the gear unless he's in the group of three that I'm currently controlling. All right, I'll, I'll give him that later then. All right, cool. I think we cleared everything in this area. And one thing I'm not sure of yet is those three rune stones we destroyed. Do those? keep the lich guy alive or were they just like to torment those three souls it kind of seemed like it was just like he hated them you know and it was just to torture them so i'm not sure you passively generate overcharge in combat Ooh. all right level 15 full health everything let's try this dungeon out now uh, we had started it the other night, and I, I left it early because it was getting pretty tough. From the book, it said he used the last of his power to do that. Probably just a torture thing. Alright. Dead watch. Okay. Wait, I don't remember if I had unlocked any teleports in this dungeon yet. I guess not. So, the way that this place worked is it, like, shifted between the realm of the dead and the realm of the living. And when you did that, um, everything, like, the walls would be in different places. And the, these altars are what makes it change. So it's kind of like a little puzzle. That's how you get around. Alright. I stunned it. Let's engage. We got a... What are they called? Lysolot? I started to say werewolves. They're called Lysolots. Oh my goodness. The haste. What is this? Gain 10 overcharge each turn. Oh, wonderful. Um, do I want to use Creeping Death on this fight? Sure. 